Susan Blackwell, and today I'm side by side my favorite Broadway breath of fresh air. Look, everybody, from Once on This Island, it's Haley Kilgore. Hello. Haley Kilgore. Tell our friends at home where we are and what we're doing today. We're at Ground Central Coffee. It's true. We're just hanging out, having a coffee, having a tea. Yes. Shooting the shit. Yes. I want to kick it off with a little game I like to call 30 Second Life Story. Okay. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock, okay. and you have to tell me your entire life story. Don't leave out the awesome parts, starting now. Haley Kilgore was born in Humble, Texas, where she was adopted by her two parents, Eric and Becky Kilgore, who owned a theater company, and she grew up with music and theater in her life, and she found out that that was her passion, and then she graduated high school a year early, moved to New York, and booked a Broadway show. <gasps> you have a full 15 seconds left. And got nominated for a Tony. 10 seconds. And is having the most incredible time. Eh. Seven seconds. Eh. Come on. <laughs> We're done. Got it. That was, that was fantastic. That was actually really good. Heavily front loaded. I like it. Super bonus. What is the name of that autobiography? Oh, wow. You know, I would actually probably call it One Small Girl. One which is Small like, Girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's that for really real going to be mind. the name of your autobiography. Yeah. The first song I remember singing when I was little was... Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. The first mm -hmm. record I bought with my own money was... <laughs> Don't stop, make it pop, keep the party going. Seriously. <laughs> I don't even know how that song goes anymore. The song I sang to win National American Miss, Miss Oregon Preteen was... Almost there. I'm almost there. People out here think I'm crazy. No marking, full voice. But I don't care. Trials and tribulations. Oh my God. I've had my share. There ain't nothing gonna stop me now because I'm almost there. My go-to audition song is... I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them be the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. That one. You're killing me, Haley. Sorry. As of this moment, As of this moment. my favorite thing to sing in Once on this Island is... Is not my song. A c the courage of a dreamer, uh, the innocence of you. Haley, that, that voice, I want to take that voice and just spread it on an English muffin and get it in all those nooks and crannies and then just eat that voice. Oh my! The once on this island earworm that I can't get out of my head is... Some say they laughed at her, but her present feet were bare. And now that's an inside thing. So Alicia, yeah. who is the original Andrea, the way that she pronounces bear, yeah. I don't know why. It was like, some say they laughed at her for her peasant feet were bear. Haley Kilgore, what the what is it like starring in Once on this Island? It is, on the Broadway. It's so, it's really fun. It's a lot of hard work. I think the reason why I've had so much fun and, and I, f I feel so fulfilled doing it is because there's always a question to ask and a lesson to learn. Um, and How like, wise are you for 19 years old? What the what does the phrase, I never liked that trike anyway, mean to you? Oh! No! Yes. <laughs> no, so yeah, I was... I <laughs> I had just gotten my first tricycle. How old were you? As a, oh, I think I was like four. Yes. And um, my grandma was babysitting me. Yes. And I grew up hearing the word f used in the correct context um, quite a bit. Okay. And I couldn't get my tricycle in the garage. And my grandma, four. my sweet grandma, who is like very, just she's like very sweet, sweet old lady. She said, honey, what's wrong? And I said, this f Tricycle won't go at four years old. In correct context, a complete sentence. <laughs> Precocious. Listen, 
Did you get in trouble? Did you no. get big trubs from no, your grandma? My, my grandma was mortified, and she went and told my parents, and they were like, well, she used it correctly. Actually, seriously, that's what my mom said. I love those parents. Mm -hmm. oh, I love those parents. And then they were like, never say that in public. You know, and that did was you? A, well, here we are. You feel sorry, mom and dad. Sorry, thank you. You're adopted. Yeah. You've talked about that, yeah. been very plain about that. What the what did you tell your second grade class about why you were adopted? Oh, uh, my, my parents were eaten by alligators in yeah. Africa. Is that the story I told That's, that day? That's the story you told that day. Yeah. And it was a Tony Award winning performance, might I add. Go deep, take me back. Like, like tears, snot. Really? I don't know. I was not, I don't remember that at all. I'm assuming though, because my teacher was fully convinced that it happened, because she ran out to my dad crying in the parking lot. <laughs> you were fully like, and then the alligator came. And then I was like, and then I think they like, both my parents and my teacher talked to me about it, and I was like, mm -hmm, yeah, that's what I said. And then my dad was like, but did it happen? And I was like, no. <laughs> But I was good. No. That performance was. But they believed was... it in the moment, and that's that's what's important. That's truth, and that's acting. <laughs> that's craft. That's so bad. What the what is your deal with Corbin Blue? Oh my gosh! You can't even say. It. Did you feel my whole like? You you did a, a full heart, like, body spasm. Um, I'm obsessed with Corbin Blue. So he had this first scene where he's jumping rope in Jump In, and I was like. Who is that? Really? And like I a fell bolt in love of with lightning. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I really liked High School Musical, I would like skip most of just the parts FF, just to watch. FF. Yeah, just to, to Corbin watch Blue. Corbin Blue's parts. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was in my first professional show when I was 12. I was in Hairspray. I was playing Little Inez. Mm -hmm. And we found out that Corbin Blue was playing Seaweed um, on YouTube. And I actually hyperventilated and fainted in my mom's bedroom. Have you met him? I've met him once. He's the nicest person. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You pick a song, any song of your choosing, and then you just sing it and you just bathe me with riffs. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. <laughs> I'm Let cry. your heart be from now on, our troubles will be out of sight, out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I don't know the words after that. Make the Yuletide gay. From now on. From now on, That's our right. troubles will be miles away. Well played. Guess what time it is? What time is it? Oh, it's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. I got your Fantasy nose, and you can have it back. But first, you have to sing me a song. Hurry up and wait. Oh. So close, now so far away. Everything that you always dreamed of. Could be us, would be us, should be us. If you only knew, take one step at a time. This has been another There's amazing no episode of Side by Side like by Susan Blackwell with Haley Kilgore. Do yourself a favor and go see her in Once on this Island. <laughs> you will not regret it. We find the reasons why. One step at a time. Oh, can I have your nose back? Thank you. Oh. You're a delight. I heard you do an imitation of a three-toed tree sloth. I love sloths! I love sloths. I love sloths. How's okay. that go? That is a slow burn.